Okay, so one of the things I've really liked doing recently is instead of just reading the Bible um, during my chair time um, during the day, I've actually started just listening to it. So I'll open up my Bible app on my phone and I'll hit play and I'll just listen to the passage read. And I found that there's things that I pick up on listening to the passage that I don't necessarily pick up on when I'm reading it. And, and so anyways, I was listening to a passage in Mark chapter 3 the other day and there was this one statement that struck me that I just loved. And it's in Mark chapter 3, verse 16. Jesus is calling his apostles, he's calling his disciples together and saying, man, I have something for you to do. This is what it said. I love this. It says, the plan was this. The plan was that they would be with him and he would send them out. And I love that picture right there, that they would be with him and he would send them out. In to go out. In to go out. I love that word picture. It reminds me of breathing. It's almost like, you know, like it wouldn't be healthy if all you did was just breathe in. Like eventually you're gonna pass out, right? At some point, it's like, that's not any way to live. And you couldn't live if you just breathed out. And it's not, it's not very attractive. So it's, you know, that's not the great way to, great way to live. Um, you have to breathe in and out, in and out. That's the picture of what it means to live in dynamic relationship with Jesus, that we draw close to him, that we, that we lean into Jesus, we're with him, we sit at his feet. That's what you're doing right now. You're just giving up time today to, to worship. You're giving up time to pray. You're giving up time to just lean in. Why? Not just so it can be all about us, so, but now that we can go and we can be sent, that we can breathe out, that we can go into our places of work, that we can go into our communities, we can go into our neighborhoods with our friends, in our homes, with our families today, and we can love like Jesus loves. We spend time with the Holy One. Why? So that we can go into an unholy world and still be faithful. We spend time with the One who is love. Why? So we can go and love a world. And so today, I want you to draw in so you can be sent out. That's health. That's dynamic relationship with God. So look for your opportunities today to live as one who has been sent. Sent to offer an encouraging word when you have the opportunity. Sent to, to offer um, a, a gift when someone is in need. Sent to pray for someone when someone is in need and just wants you to pray with them. Find those opportunities today. Just one opportunity to say, man, this is my moment of being sent right now. I want to pray for you, Jesus. I pray that you lead us today and guide us. I pray that we lean into you today so that we could be sent out and love you and love others faithfully. And we pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. All right, guys. Hope you have a great day. Bye.